Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Today, just now in my recommended, I have seen this video by this person called Lexi Limitless called I joined a billion Muslims in fasting for a day. I thought it was a really interesting video and you probably don't care about my opinion on it but I thought as a Muslim I can probably give some insight as to what I think about the video. Um, firstly I want to say it's banging, right? The views. I'm guessing that it's a mainly Muslim audience that just gathered from this video because um, as Muslims we want to have a bit of insight. I think it's uh, pretty refreshing and unique to have insight from someone who's non-Muslim, who's a white American girl and you know her experience of being Muslim for a day. So you know I, I don't know if this is going to be you know the only thing that I cover in this video but I definitely want to watch it with you because I think that this She's done this video really well. I've already watched the whole thing and I've got quite a bit to say about it. She's done this video really well. And I want to share, like, I, I like this video. I really like this video. So I, I just want to share it. I mean, she doesn't need more exposure. The video's going to blow up anyways. And it's not like I can provide any exposure. But I want to provide my own opinion. I want it to be out there. Uh, you know, that's the point of YouTube. Share, share, and, share and what you want to share. Um, this person, Lexi Limitless. When I saw it was her that uploaded this, I, in the back of my head, I sort of thought, I kind, I kind of recognise her. I don't know where from, but I can't, like somewhere in the back of my mind, I thought, mm, nah, maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know this girl at all. After this video, I saw in my recommended, she's the same person who went to every country in the world by the age of 21, which is mental, which is absolutely mad. So I've seen this video, which is how I know her, and she's also associated with Yes Theory, which I didn't know until I watched this video. But just just take a look, right? Let, let's watch it. Let's watch through it. Uh, actually, before we get it started on this video, I saw this comment. There's this comment here, right? Non-Muslim. I'm gonna fast for one day. Muslim. Oh, that's cute. Not gonna lie, right? That's what I thought this video was initially gonna be about. I thought it was just gonna be some white girl bitching and complaining about not being able to eat or drink for 14 hours. So I was a bit skeptical. I was like, how are they gonna approach this video? Because you gotta be kind of careful when you like try to be this for a day or try to be this for a like like you don't wanna you don't wanna like do it the wrong way. She's done this the best way you could possibly do. So she spends the first uh, first few minutes talking about what Ramadan is to educate everyone. Nearly one quarter of the entire world's population is Muslim and there hey, are nearly that's me. one what are you saying? billion that's me. people fasting during the month of Ramadan. You know all right, I'm glad that she doesn't make it about her. I'm I, you know I'm I'm very impressed with this that um you know it, it reflects the sort of person she is as well. I'm loving the energy that she gives up from this video. But uh it's great that she's not just she's not talking about herself a lot in this. Uh because you know I would expect it to be like oh I am so like I'm finding this so difficult. I can't do this. Or, like I, I'm struggling, but she hasn't made it about herself. She's talking about she's representing the entire Muslim population, which is which is great. I love it. Please abstain from eating any foods, drinking any liquids, smoking, swearing, and engaging in any sexual activities from dawn. I don't need to worry about that one, she. One of the main reasons why Muslims fast during Ramadan is to empathize with people in. Poverty. It also See, that is my number one reason for doing Ramadan because I'm I'm not very religious. If you know me, you'll know that I'm not the most religious, right? Uh, because I, you know, I, I I'm I'm a man of maths and science. I'm a man of logic, so obviously I'm skeptical about God. If there's so, if there is any such thing as Muslim agnostic, it I would call myself that. But. Uh, that's the, that's my primary reason personally for doing Ramadan. Okay, so she explains Ramadan and then she starts the actual fast. Potatoes and some beef sausages. That's a pretty solid cereal. That's a pretty solid uh, meal. Yeah. Okay, and then and then what comes next in the video is um. It's gonna be a full thing. I only did it. This guy, Yes Theory. When I saw him, I was blown away. I was like, whoa. Bro, oh, it's, it's the guy from Yes Theory, what's going on here? Uh, she does this whole thing about, you know, wanting food and drink. And then she talks a lot about the introspection and reflective, you know, inner peace of mind right that Ramadan can give. She talks about that. And then another Yes Theory member, this guy, absolute legend, Yes Theory, right? This guy, Emma, jumps into the video. And then they talk about um, Ramadan. She asks a bunch of questions. This is all very cool, very nice get out of the apartment because I was feeling so tempted with like sitting in the kitchen and there's a full fridge of food and all right here's the thing okay not a flex but I find fasting pretty easy okay and it's not just because I sleep throughout the entire day I don't know why but I just I can go a long a very long time 
with temptations all around us. I've got this bottle with water in it. That's going to stay a foot away from us for the entire day. And I'm not even going to think about water. I could have food, I could have a snack right here in front of us, on my desk right here. I wouldn't even think about it for the, what is it, like 15 hours? 15 hours. I'm not eating, I'm not drinking, I wouldn't even think about touching that food. I don't know why, maybe it's just because, you know, we're, we're just very used to it. Would it be true to say that Muslims on average would have a higher tolerance to, or like, be able to survive longer without food or water? Surely, if you had a non-Muslim and a Muslim, and you told them both, oh, you can't eat for 24 hours, surely the Muslim would find it a lot easier than the non-Muslim. But then the Jew would find it easiest because they fast for 25 hours one day in the year. Since she's American, she's saying how she's been struggling to stay in the kitchen with all this self-control. And you know, if a Muslim was in that situation, they'd have no problem at all. No problem at all. Something and all Muslims generally, you know, generally more tolerant to self-control than non-Muslims. Or am I making a huge generalisation with the term self-control there? It's pretty interesting to think about the traits that Ramadan can give you over time. I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I want people to do like experiments with this and like find out are Muslims more this than non-Muslims because of Ramadan? That's pretty interesting. Uh, if you fast, uh, can, you, can you comment down below whether you find fasting easy or difficult? But anyways. Say Bismillah and take a Bismillah. Is it just me or is it kind of funny to see like Americans, but more generally like white people trying to like speak Arabic or like say Muslim words? I mean, she's done it well to be fair to her. I'd like to see a, a white American say something like Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Rahman Rahim and then see like, <laughs> just see them absolutely butcher it, it would be hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty much the video and then they eat uh, what looks like a beautiful meal. Let's eat. Let's eat. Yeah. <laughs> And then the video ends there. I know I skipped a lot of it, that's, that's because I've already watched it and I'm, I'm just like talking about the parts that I've, I had, you know, valid opinions on. All right, what else can we do? Because I feel like, you know, just talking about that doesn't really give this video much weight because I'm giving my opinion on a video that's already very heavily insightful and content filled. You know what? Maybe I should search up other non-Muslims who've done Ramadan because this seems to be a very interesting thing. I want to see how, you know, how people react to, um, to fasten for the first time. So we've got um, non-Muslim vlog 2020. Um, let's have a look Through at this. Through my then. channel, I've been able oh, to. Oh, ten minutes! Why are all these videos so long? Oh wait, look. Yes, the actually did a video fasting for Ramadan for the first time. Four minutes long. This is what I like to see. This was back in 2015. A lot of those friends are Muslim, and I have always been fascinated by their religion and their customs. I tried fasting for Ramadan, non Muslim. No food. Yeah, four and minutes. No drink from sunrise till sunset for one month. See, see that's, a, that's a good summary. I like that. I like that. Oh, I've, I've still got this. There we go. And this year, I decided to observe Ramadan alongside my Muslim friends, even though I myself am not Muslim. Huge respect. In a minute, I'll Huge explain respect. why. But when Muslims all around the world abstain from drinking and eating, <laughs> I love this bit. I love that bit. I like it's Muslim very explanatory. From drinking, abstain from drinking and eating. <laughs> that was good. I like that. But there's a lot more to it than food. There is, it's there also is indeed. Of contemplation, contemplation and religion, yeah, nice one. All that. Charity. Charity, fact, charity's huge one. Yes. Yes, go on, do man, it go on. For three reasons. Number one, with so many of my friends around the world fasting this month, I want to put myself in their shoes and understand this period of time from their perspective. See, that's cool. How she, how the reason that she's doing it is to put herself in the shoes of the Muslims who were doing it, and then the Muslims are doing it to put themselves in the shoes of those less fortunate. So I like how this is going. I like how, you know, everyone's empathizing with each other. So that's pretty cool. Fasting is generally accepted to be quite good for your health with... Is it? I just see complete sh when the sun goes down. I don't think I've had fruit in like, like, like a week. It's so bad. I should probably change that. But damn, I don't think it's going to do any good for my health. I'm telling you now. Three, the power of the mind i want to give my mind a bit of a workout and control that urge to eat in a safe and controlled environment it's pretty interesting watching these these well not americans but you know non-muslims i'll say non-muslims for a while. it's very interesting seeing these non-muslims try to take on you know for them what would be quite a challenge quite a challenge and and for us muslims just pure entertainment to see how much they suffer 
I'm kidding, by the way. I don't want to see her so far. Oh, I kind of do want to see her so far. Well, not really. And she here's the like, thing. She's a, like an extremely nice person. Mind or cleanse your gut, it's something that anyone can try. Just as long as you take it easy, listen to your body, and don't overdo it. A cup of gawa, which is coffee. You know what? <laughs> It's pretty cool, I'm going to subscribe. A channel is pretty cool, I'm probably going to watch her videos. It's a pretty nice area, I would love to have that. It's not very easy to get started with meditation, and I feel like I'm really not very good at it. But these are baby steps. Yo, this, this the editor, this, thing look at this. Pizza, nah. The other thing, nah. Bills, nah. Loving this editor, no, look at this. Ooh. These are baby steps. Oh, memes, of course, of course. The important thing... It's all, okay, so I'm thinking all these, um, all these introspective white girls who are trying Ramadan to see what it's like. I think they're all just the type of people who meditate. I feel like there's a very, you know, clear division between people who meditate and are all spiritual and that, and people who think it's absolute bullshit. I'm one of the people who thinks it's absolute bullshit, by the way. I wouldn't meditate. I know, I know all the people who do meditate would be like, oh, but it's so good for you. You just haven't opened up your mind yet to the spiritualism of the world and the interconnection of the dimensions, right? But I mean, you know, meditating, I'm not really feeling it. I mean, I say that now, I, you know, I'll probably try meditating one day, I'll be like, yo, this is sick, my mind is free and all that. But anyways, meditating, I get how it's related to the spiritualness and mindfulness of Ramadan, so I get how it's really linked. But it's just not something that I would do. But it's very interesting to see how they've linked it to Ramadan. It's it's very interesting to see how both this girl and um, that Lexi, Lexington, whatever girl, I don't know, I don't know, that Lexi girl also with the yoga, not the yoga, the meditation, how they're both linking that to Ramadan, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see fasting for Ramadan. Yesterday, for the I first took these time. guys on a cultural discovery. I have been fasting for Ramadan for the past month, which means that I'm not supposed to eat or drink anything, including water, for the entire Yo, time. Yo, these guys are so fresh and young. Look at them. The old Yes Theory videos, though. Oh, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah, look, I have such mad respect for anyone open-minded enough to learn about someone else's religion and beliefs. The respect for these people is absolutely insane. It's so refreshing to see someone take on this pers this new perspective. Because I, I can't imagine what it would be like as a non-Muslim. First of all, thinking, whoa, that's crazy, no food and no water, because that's what people always ask me. They're always like, wait, wait, you can't, you can't, you can't have water either. So as a non-Muslim, thinking that, that's probably pretty mad. And then also thinking, I'm going to try this. Mate, the, the respect for you from here to like through the roof, mate, I just love Islam. It's just beautiful. It really is. It really is. Here's our story. We started the day extremely tired from the night before, where we had tried to sleep outside but barely got any sleep. Thomas was missing his daily four cups of coffee. What is it with Americans and coffee, right? <laughs> Come on, America. you got to stop being ca so caffeine dependent. What if the government is using caffeine to control you all? What did I just say? I don't know. Let's just keep watching. Coffee. Coffee. And Matt was missing, well, breakfast. Matt loves breakfast. I was, and I are already suffering and we've been up for about... See, this is entertainment. When they're making a video on the style of this, like, just watching them two suffer. This is this is entertainment. This is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see people suffer, but people who are people who are saying that they're suffering. So I'm not making fun of them. They're making fun of themselves. Yeah, we're pathetic. We had exactly the opposite. Like they said it themselves. Like I'm allowed to make fun of these people. The slow morning and I see these people. It's Yes Theory, the legendary iconic Yes Theory. Afternoon, so. I took Matt and Thomas to a mosque for the first time in their lives. To Ooh, this should be pretty interesting. Let's see their first time in a mosque. A proper Ramadan experience. But yeah, I'm excited to do this with you boys. It's a, it's a great thing to share, you know, that part of my identity with you guys. Yeah, I think it's cool. like, as I said, two billion people around the world all have that common identity. It's so cool watching non-Muslims explore this identity because it's like we're so used to it. We were all very well received. Yo, can you film in the mosque? Yo, I've never tried filming in the mosque. When we got home, Thomas had five more hours of editing ahead of him. With no sleep, no food, and no water. This happened. Oh, let's watch Thomas's free go. <laughs> Alright, you guys edit. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I just feel like I'm really tired and like I have two hours to finish this. He hit an absolute low in energy, but Matt, Darren, and myself picked him up. It's up to you 
do what's best for you and for the food. That wasn't even that bad, I think. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Like, freak out. Yeah, yeah, he swore a few times, but like, you know. I don't think that was a freak out. I think he's handling it pretty well, considering, you know, he's got editing to do. Editing, which takes so much focus. If you edit anything, you'll know that it takes so much focus. And like, you know, I can imagine for him, who's probably never been like so deprived of food and water as he is, I'm surprised that he wasn't more angry after that. Then we are fasting anyways. It'll be fine for now. No, Graham, taking like a champ. Fast? Absolutely. Did I break the fast? Yeah. Keep going. He made it through? What a king, what a guy, absolute legend. If my respect for Yes Theory wasn't high enough, it's certainly high now. So far. Yeah, edit that video. Yeah, uh, yeah, I edit that video. Know. That's probably the he latest thing through, I've done. Didn't break the fast and finished editing on time. And five minutes away what from sunset. What a guy. Hello. Can I say Bismillah? Bismillah. Oh, you're just spastic too, the camera is spastic, sorry there. <laughs> to be fair, I don't really see how you could say that wrong. The point of Ramadan is not to starve yourself. Instead, it's to break bad habits, cultivate self-control, and have empathy for people who are not as fortunate as us to have access to food and water at all times. Yeah, but those those reasonings, as I've said, those reasonings are pretty much the reasonings that I, that I have, personally. And also, it's like... I think to myself, yeah, all the other Muslims are doing that, why shouldn't I? Because I'd just feel weird if I didn't, you know? I'd feel so weird if I... I feel more comfortable fasting than not fasting. Because it's like, it's not exactly an inconvenience. No complaining, no drinking, no smoking, no lying, no swearing, and no fighting. Oh, well, if if it's got no complaining, no swearing, then my boy my boy Thomas has failed. But I mean, again, that, that I, I expected, I expected, um, when it said small freak out, I thought he would be uh, more angry. We've seen Amar do this for the past month, and we wanted to show solidarity with our friend and do exactly what I really like that. About. I really like that they've, they've um, done it for that reason. Oh, we've got Elbat. Look at this. I never knew that Elbat made a video on this. this video hey, for my G Elbat. Oh, I hate how YouTube is nowadays. I hate how YouTube is so like monitored and PC that you've got to have a disclaimer making a bloody video about Ramadan. Just because, you know, you mention a religion, you've got to have a bloody disclaimer in there. Why? Why is YouTube like this? Can we not just go back to 2012 and you could literally, like, you know, make the odd Nazi joke and you'd be fine. Fasting is one of the five pillars of Islam and is done to increase taqwa. Now, taqwa is... Oh, yeah, it's one of the five pillars. Well. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about the five pillars. Yeah, that's another big reason for doing it because it's like, you kind of have to. It's fundamental about being a Muslim. Yeah, I, f I forgot that reason. That's a pretty big reason. We have Eid, which is the festival of breaking the fast. Basically, everyone just eats a lot and has a great old time. But not everyone fasts pretty good roundup of during Eid. Like A-levels or GCSEs, anything like that. It must have been so much harder for them because they weren't eating or drinking during those hours either. And so I thought- You know what, exams during Ramadan aren't that bad. Because as I said, you're so, you know, you're so used to, you know, not drinking or eating. It's just like normal. It's like, yeah, for the other 11 months of the year, you, you might like forget, you might reduce tolerance, but as soon as you get back into it, I feel like, I, I feel like it's like riding a bike. You never like lose that tolerance completely. So I think it's always like, after after maybe like a few years, you, you're fine. But hey, they're doing it to empathise with people in poverty. Why can't I do it to better understand what they went through and what That's, they go through? Again, very good reason and very, now, in very good cause Muslim for countries, that. It's illegal to work more than six hours during the month of Ramadan. But obviously... You know what? I did not know that. I really did not know it's illegal to work over six hours in Ramadan for Muslim majority countries. That's a good fact. I'm learning new stuff every day. Look at that. I'm not religious in any way, so the five prayers I'll be replacing with meditation. I just think that it'd be... Oh, okay, that makes sense then. Because, like, all of these all of these white girls have been meditating while they're fasting. So that, that's a good point, actually. Maybe they're doing it to replace prayers. I never thought about that. That's actually... that actually explains it. So it's gonna be an interesting one for sure. I feel really positive. Like, I feel pretty strong in spirit and in mind. Um, yeah, I, I feel... I feel pretty good, guys. I mean... I wasn't as exhausted as I thought I would be, if that makes sense. Like, I don't feel as negative as I have done in the past with fasts. My baby! This is not exactly the healthy Ramadan break and treat. I feel like this experience has taught me a lot. Regardless of the religious aspects, I feel that Ramadan teaches people that ignorance is not an excuse for apathy. We should all be proactive in recognising the, the struggles and plights of those that are less fortunate than us. 
Ignorance is not an excuse for apathy. That's actually really, uh, really interesting point to be fair. That's a really, that's a good reason actually. I like that. I like that. Cool. I understand that it's not about their individual struggles or how hard they find it. You know, fasting, working under the sun. It's about what you learn through that struggle. Is in. Yo, this girl. Uh, uh, me. Are, are we sure this girl isn't isn't actually a Muslim? Because. Mate, her insights and her reasoning for fasting are actually like insanely accurate and like it's as if she's talking as if she, she's a Muslim. It's really cool. It's like how 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 is she doing this? Also, yeah, I have watched the entire video by the way. Um, I haven't like skipped anything. If I know I haven't reacted to a lot of stuff, but it's just filmed a normal vlog and it, here and there it's just saying, oh, uh, you know, waiting for the sun to go down. So yeah, it's a it's a normal vlog up to like where she breaks her fast and stuff but this what bit at the end is and tired the coolest teaches you about other people and about yourself and i just want to say i wish you all the best of luck with the continuation of ramadan because you know it's it's not easy but you get on with it seamlessly so shout out all the muslims essentially that's what this video is this has been a wonderful cool. experience Good respect shout out to you mate very intelligent insights jesus christ i didn't expect that i sound like a full-on imam here but like mate all these people who've made these videos you know a non-muslim fast during ramadan like they are insanely spot on and like i say spot on like they are insanely like, accurate to what a real like the reasonings behind an actual muslim and you know their experiences uh, they, they've been so interesting to look at i've never watched these videos before i thought it'd be really interesting to do for a video well i really appreciate all these people taking time and actually putting an effort to find out about other cultures ramadan's going perfect i ain't getting tired this ramadan i love it hey you're right man we got used to fasting in ramadan we find it easier fa yeah hey my guys no my guys no really appreciate what you said share your experience yes we do appreciate what she said See, I barely feel hunger and thirst because I'm at peace the whole day and I feel much better internally. Exactly. You feel fine. You feel fine. Exactly. During quarantine is especially easy. You just sleep the, almost the whole day. Exactly. How much did the other 75% actually know? This video, all these videos are really well done, by the way. None of them are at all insensitive or like take things the wrong way. They're all handled so well. Like, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yo, if any of you non-Muslims do Ramadan or any non-Muslims in general, are this insightful and this curious if you want to come into the muslim camp i'm treating it like an initiation you're more than welcome we've got open arms for you but let's let's go this is a pretty interesting video to film i didn't know this was the video i was going to film today i just thought re let's look at me youtube recommended and make a video out of that but you know what i like these spontaneous sort of videos but that's the video and i'll see you all later